cash flow as fuck, baby. If you guys like this hoodie, use the promo code HWTV10. Snag yourself a 10% discount. But, Chris, you and I both know this property is not actually going to make you 31%. It could. It very well could. You could pick this sucker up at $145,000, and you could just go in there and be like, Hey, everybody. Rent's going up, 750, 750, 750. And all three of those existing tenants, they could be like, hell yeah, Chris, that's that's the market rate. Not a problem. We will pay that. And then you move a new tenant in, and then boom, you, you would make a 31% cash on cash return. Be it in the business, right? You know, you pay me. Uh, to help you guys with due diligence, you pay me to, to give you guys realistic expectations of what you can get in the Cleveland market. And I'm not just here as a, as a pie in the sky guy. I, I don't think that's uh, a realistic expectation. Yes, it's possible. Yes, it could happen. But, you know, looking at the existing rent roll, 600, five and a quarter, 600. I believe you could probably raise those rents up to 750 slowly with only losing a couple tenants, two of the three. I don't know when they would move out. But what I think is very unlikely is you go in on day one and say, hey, everybody, you're, all y'all's rent is seven fifty now. I find it very unlikely that you can do that to all three of those tenants. And all three of those tenants say, yeah, man, not a problem. Sign me up. So if you tried to do that immediately, you know, maybe one of them stays, maybe the other one moves out. You got to renovate there. You know, what are you spending? We don't have any photos, but hey, man, somebody's living in a unit for a while, and then you got to get it all the way up to be able to be beautiful and pristine and get that market rent of seven fifty. You're spending probably at least five thousand dollars, if I had to guess. That's if one of them move out. What does the third one do? Who knows, man? Maybe it goes one way, maybe it goes the other. <laughs> 